My name's Pete. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Health Sciences and the man behind the video you can't see is Alan Kelly and he's the uh, project manager for uh, our shelter project which I'm uh, delighted to present to you today. So the shelter project is a, a VR environment which is designed to help provide mental well-being support. So we're both based in the School of Health Sciences and as part of um, their training our students go out onto clinical placements to places that are quite remote uh, from where they're normally based and for some this can be quite a challenging experience and we know that nationally uh, students tend to experience increased depression and anxiety when they're away from home out on clinical placement partly because of the isolation and partly because of the, the challenging nature sometimes of the, the shift work required. So we received some funding from the Office for Students to devise this uh, amazing environment where our students can come while they're out on placement to improve their mental well-being and to receive support. So today we're just going to give you a small tour of our tropical beach island uh, and show you some of the key features that our students engage with while they're out on their placement. So we've arrived uh, where all of our students arrive in this uh, pleasant uh, gorge. Um, you can see hopefully uh, down the beach there uh, the sea is just going to be poking over the horizon. We'll go down and have a look at the sea in a moment. This is a nice safe uh, space. There's lots of uh, palm trees swaying and just behind you there's a pool full of turtles with butterflies playing on it. So straight away it's a nice kind of safe environment, it feels very calming. Just to my left there's a map and on the map here you can see uh, the key areas of the island that I want to show you. So in a moment we'll head straight to, uh, down the beach there towards the sea and we'll find the fire pit. And that's an area where students can just go and sit and enjoy the sea or they can meet each other, sit around a fire uh, and, and chat and reflect on their clinical practice. Just to your right behind the rocks here there's a secluded area with some caves in it and that's where uh, students can book a one-to-one -one meeting with a clinical tutor and they can receive support from our, our staff there. And uh, behind me, sort of to the left as you're looking up there, there's our Zen garden which we'll visit last and that's an area where our students can engage in mindfulness practice as well. So for now um, we'll take a walk down the beach and we'll go and have a look at the fire pit. Come with me. Welcome to the fire pit. As you can see there's a, a fire roaring away in front of us here and there's some logs distributed around the fire. We've got a lovely view of the sea and hopefully you can just make out the way the waves are lapping gently at the shore there. So this is an area where students can come and meet each other and it's been designed for group peer reflection and each of these logs will sit two or three students so we can have a facilitator here and the idea behind this uh, area is it's a safe space where students can share some of their clinical experiences with each other reflect and offer each other uh, words of advice or, or encouragement or comfort because we're in a virtual reality environment I and mean, you can see my name because it's written above my head but I, I could have written anything I wanted there so that gives us uh, a sense of anonymity which the students will find useful when they're reflecting on situations perhaps that they found quite challenging. We know that this is uh, a value to some students because in uh, the online equivalent via Zoom they tend to keep their cameras off wanting to kind of preserve that pseudo anonymity. In addition to that the fact that I'm manifesting to you uh, in this uh, fantastic outfit that I'm sporting, dressed in this uh, uh, as, as an avatar, it frees me uh, from expressing my true uh, uh, gender, from my uh, skin colour, all of the things that perhaps, again, students might want to preserve in, in order to keep their anonymity. So this is very much a safe space, an open space where people can uh, share their thoughts and their feelings and reflect together. Welcome to the caves. When we designed the tropical island we felt it was really important to have a safe space where students could meet with a support tutor for one-to-one -one 
discussions about how they're feeling and crucially for signposting to further more in-depth uh, mental health support. So working closely with the software developers and in particular one of the team there who was an architect by trade and uh, had worked previously on designing buildings that promoted uh, a sense of calm uh, we designed these this little region here so we've got these two little recessed caves each with a comfy cushion on surrounded by uh, candles and we've got vines above us gently blowing in the breeze but importantly this is away from uh, the main part of the island it feels very secluded and certainly from where you're sitting there all you, all you can really see is the uh, the other person you can't see the rest of the island now, when students need to talk to someone confidentially, they'll be able to book a private session on the island, so only them and the support tutor will be uh, on the whole island at this time. But still, the way we've arranged that gives that reassurance that they've got privacy for those confidential discussions. So students are allowed uh, to book this uh, with our, our support tutor. They're sent a link and then they arrive here and they can have however long they want, usually a half hour slot, just to chat about how they've been feeling, if anything is uh, impacting on how they're feeling, uh, and as I say, get that signposting on uh, to further uh, mental health support. Okay, welcome to the Zen Garden. So this is uh, the part of the island where our students can come and see a lot of features that uh, they can focus their mind on and we encourage them to engage in mindfulness practice using this environment and that's quite unique in terms of virtual reality research there's a people certainly who are using a virtual reality environment to deliver mindfulness sessions but they're not so far using the virtual environment as a focus for mindfulness and that's really what this whole area is about so you can see it's jam-packed full of uh, beautiful things. You can see, hopefully, uh, the curved roof. You can see the tree in the middle here. Some of our amazing uh, plants. And, of course, the butterflies uh, floating around. And the larger static one you might be able to see currently perched on the lamp over there to my right. Uh, there's little uh, leaves gently falling here. And there's a nice view of the sea in the background. So hopefully you can see, sort of be behind me and to my right, there's a little cushion there perched on the end. And that's a nice focus uh, point for our students to sit, look out at the sea, and switch on one of the mindfulness audio tracks that have been specifically produced for this purpose. So they access this via uh, a really uh, useful sort of wristwatch um, uh, application. So just merely tilting uh, the arm brings this little menu. And students can navigate around the island using this, uh, they can uh, edit uh, various elements of their experience and importantly in this area they can choose one of the uh, amazing mindfulness resources. And having played one of those uh, they then can sit wherever they want on the island, they don't need to sit here, um, and then be guided through a mindfulness meditation. So an example of uh, how the environment is used here is one of the first ones they do focuses on breathing and when we talk about breathing breathing in and breathing out in this environment we're asking students to focus on the sea and they can watch the tide the waves coming in the waves going out they can hear the waves coming in and going out and link that to their breathing and we hope that by using this we're going to promote uh, feelings of mindfulness and reduce their anxiety and depression now, they don't have to stay here to do the mindfulness. They can go and find their own secluded part of the island, find something to, to focus their attention on and uh, practice their mindfulness. Or they can just come here and sit and relax or meet friends here to chat and chase butterflies. It's up to them what they do here. And part of our evaluation uh, is trying to find out uh, the impact that the, the environment has on them and also uh, what, how they use it. And we want the, the users to kind of drive how we uh, uh, encourage other users to uh, engage with the environment. So we're measuring uh, students' anxiety and depression on a weekly basis uh, while they have the headset on remote placement, and again in another placement where they don't have access to the, place, to the uh, virtual reality headset, 
but instead use the more traditional means of, uh, of support and, um, uh, and help. As well as that, we're going to convene a focus group to gather that qualitative experience of uh, how they use the environment, what they found beneficial from it and what they might want to change. Well, this is very much a, a very quick tour of uh, the island. We've seen the main features that we've put in that uh, encourage our students to improve their own uh, mental health and well-being and also one of the mechanisms we've got for signposting them on to uh, more in-depth uh, mental health support. I hope you've enjoyed uh, your visit to the island today. Uh, do feel free to contact uh, myself, uh, Pete Bridge, or uh, Alan Kelly, uh, the project manager, if you want more information or want to have a go uh, with, the, uh, with the environment and uh, give us your thoughts as well. Thanks for joining us. Uh, goodbye.